Hey, this is Meredith Marsh from vidpromom.com and a couple of weeks ago, GoPro released their new Quick app for desktop. They already have the mobile app. GoPro's Quick app for desktop is available for Mac and PC and I already did a little review video where I basically just screen captured myself using it for the first time and working through it to see how it works and how it functioned. But I've played with it a lot more since then and I've been getting a ton of questions from you guys on the Quick app for desktop like does it do this and does it do that? And I'll be honest with you, there are a lot of limitations but the concept of editing a video in this way is pretty intuitive. So you're basically just importing your clips in and setting a tag on every single moment in your clips that you know you want to keep in your final video. So rather than focusing on all of this stuff that you want to edit out of your final video, you're focusing on what you want to keep in your final video. So I really like that concept for a workflow. But like I said, the app itself does have a lot of limitations. So this video right here is all about how to overcome some of those limitations and still use the Quick App in your workflow to speed things up. The main limitations of the GoPro app are that you can only make a video that is 15 seconds long or 30 seconds long or 60 seconds long. So you can't make it any longer than 60 seconds and you can't make it any shorter than 15 seconds, which I don't know why you would even want to, but you don't have any flexibility there. You have to stick with those intervals. Another limitation is that you're stuck using the music that GoPro has available to you. And unless you are enrolled in GoPro Plus, you only have 10 options and you can't just decide to not have music in your video. But there are a few very simple work arounds to these limitations that you can do in any video editing platform, including GoPro Studio, which if you're not familiar with GoPro Studio, it's available for Mac and PC, it's totally free, and I have a crap ton of tutorials on this YouTube channel for how to use GoPro Studio. But you can use any video editing platform that you have, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever works for you. Let's talk about music real quick. First of all, I have an entire tutorial on how to use background music and where to find background music, which I will link to below or up here somewhere. While it may seem like a really big limitation that you can only use the music that GoPro has provided you, there's actually a really good reason for it. If you have used Quick already, then you might know what I'm talking about, but let's take a look over on my computer. If you notice that once you have clips down on your timeline and you have things tagged with your highlight tag, if you change your music, the GoPro Quick App is actually changing where the cuts are made in your video. So it's analyzing the waveforms of the music and then changing your video so that all the transitions kind of sync up with the transitions of the song. And that's actually pretty cool. I don't think the app could possibly analyze the waveforms on the fly like that of just any single song that you selected. But that would be a pretty cool software invention. If you really wanted to use your own music, all you have to do is create your video, export it, and import it into your video editor like GoPro Studio, mute the clips, and then import your own music. Your final video is not gonna be automatically synced to the music that you choose, but you can work around that by editing a little bit or re-editing in quick if it's just not jiving with you and just use whatever music that you choose in GoPro Studio. You can also get over that 60 second limit by creating multiple videos in Quick and then putting them together in GoPro Studio into one longer video, which you may wanna do if you select your own music because typically songs that you find for background music are longer than 60 seconds. So there's a couple workarounds if you wanna use GoPro's Quick for Desktop app. It's a really slick idea to be able to import your clips and just tag them and have it automatically create something for you. Really speeds up your editing process if you don't wanna spend a long time editing your videos, you just want to do something quick and easy and fun, then Quick is awesome for that. But, you know, having the audio attached to the clips is a huge part of the story and Quick basically just strips it all out. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I love, love, love the concept. So keep working on it, GoPro. Hey, that's it, that's all I got. If you like this video, please give it a little bit of love by hitting that like button below. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos from me. Thanks, bye.